Scotch broom. Kind of pretty, but invasive and persistent pest on Vancouver Island. But this week, volunteers took to battle the broom, as Tess Van Stratton shows us in this week's Vital People. Take a look. Okay. Whoa. It's hard work. Nice roots, eh? But these Wandifuca Community Trails Society volunteers are keen to get to the root of the Scotch broom problem. Look, it's ground zero for broom, the broom invasion. And the problem is it gets into very dense mats. It blocks out all the native vegetation. These broom busters started pulling out the non-native invasive species at Whiff and Spit 17 years ago. We're removing broom like that. You wouldn't see the people behind us for the broom. So uh, I think it's a big success that this year we're down to removing them at about this high. But there still are some big ones. So you got to get it right down to ground level and then just slowly off. There we go. Pulling out this persistent and prolific pest definitely isn't easy, and getting rid of it for good is even harder. That's that guy. Anyone who lives out in the soup knows it's taking over so much of the land, and we're never going to get rid of it, but at least we can keep a few places like the spit. The so spit would be solid broom by now if it wasn't for Sid and Rosemary organizing these broom poles all the time. I really like the people, so I've met some good friends through it. It's good exercise. <laughs> And uh, I just like being outside. It takes about 100 to 120 volunteer hours each year to keep the broom at bay. We didn't realize when we started that it would be so many years, but we're kind of tenacious. So we're going to try and keep that broom down. Every year, it's kind of like you have to get your broom eyes back. <laughs> and sometimes you find you're standing on top of or right next to one. And even though they have to come back to Whiff and Spit year after year to remove this fire hazard, longtime volunteers say it's worth it. It's the, the most beautiful walk for everybody in Souk. And like it just takes away if it's got all the invasive species. So, so you know, a few times in the spring and a few times in the fall keeps it beautiful for everybody. Partly it's feeling good for doing something back for the community. And Souk is such a wonderful it's a small, very close-knit community. This is the first of five or six sessions this year, but Rosemary knows they'll be back for years to come. Broom, we've been told, has a seed life of 40 plus years. So there's 23 more years to go. Vital People, brought to you by the Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.